Hey YouTube, uh, Trip Blades here, and I'm going to show you, uh, my guitars, talk for, talk about them for a little bit, and, yeah, here we are. 2003, uh, no, I, my, my, my mistake, 2000, uh, Evophone, Les Paul. Custom, by myself, uh, Les Paul, Epiphone project I'm working on. Pretty good. Uh, there's a video that I just posted and it tells you all about this guitar. Check it out. My 2008 Fender 12 string acoustic guitar. It's really good. I've got to be there for uh, my girlfriend. Can see that? Pretty cool. Um, love you so much and really I got this because of her, because I don't think it's in tune, but a little bit of nice to this guitar. Yeah, I need to get that too, but yeah. 2008 Fender Pulsing Acoustic Guitar. Pretty great. Another 2008 uh, BC Rich Avenged Guitar with the Beast headstock. This is a BC Rich. Uh, this is an event, but I took the plate off. Because I like to cut. This is the first guitar I started to customize myself. Um, and I added a number, added another inlay right here, because I just think it looks better without the inlays or bats. I drew the first one. First fret, I drew that one. Second one, or I mean the third fret, stock. Uh, I like this. Nice uh, BC Rich Avenge. This is not a beast, this is an Avenge. Beast style. Um, has my three signature X's. It's pretty great. Um, on the back, this is my political guitar. See that little sticker I made that says anti-Nazi. If you're an anti if you're a Nazi out there, fuck you. And it has a FA, which means fuck authority. I ain't scared to say it. Fuck you guys. It's a great guitar though. 2008. Single knob, single piece, the double humbucker pickup, BC Rich. It's pretty great. Um, another 2008, I believe. Well, you can't tell what this is. This is an Esteban electric acoustic. Um, show you. Back it up a little bit. Pretty good. Um, this is not a sticker. This is a Guns N' Roses um, piece of little paper thingy. I got it off the back of a Use Your Illusion 1 uh, CD. Go, so, tape that on there. That's what that is. Pretty good shit. Um, Guns N' Roses. It's got the EQ right here. It's pretty good. You know, I really don't use this much for an electric as I do for an acoustic. The only time I use this for an electric is uh, playing it live. And um, this guitar is really special to me because on the back has a uh, picture of my best friend that was. Uh, and you can see the reflection, the fucking thing. I know, in the reflection, or I, I taped a picture of my best friend uh, on the back of my guitar because when I was 10 years old, he was taken away from me by a truck driver. He died on impact. So, miss him, miss him dearly. He's closer than a friend. He was basically, I consider him a brother. We're not brothers, I'm not related to him blood, but, you know. Mentally, he was, you know, closest thing I had. But uh, you know, this is my first acoustic I got. Some of the first songs I wrote were about him, or for his memory. So, memory of my best friend. And then uh, I have my signature right here. You can barely tell. That's my signature. It's pretty good. That's basically it. Nothing special. Very good. Good. Great. This one. I'm proud of doing this one. JS32T 
Jackson King B. Very dirty. Inferno Red, uh, it's 2010. This is barely brand new. Bought it. This was made June 10th. And I bought it, I think, I'm trying to remember when I bought it. No, I bought, no, this was made June 12th at like midnight. And I bought it June 15th. So, really great quality guitar. Uh, two humbucking uh, Jackson pickups, 24 fret, mother of pearl and lace. I'll talk about this more when I have the video up. Um, it's pretty custom, in my opinion. Um, it's got caution. I put that on there myself. I oh, thank you. And then uh, you can barely tell, but another one of my many signatures. That's great. This is guitar. Oh, don't it. My bitch. No, not a PC rich bitch. Yes. I don't know if you could be able to understand what the fuck that says, but this is a PV Raptor Plus EXP. This is a 2007 guitar. I tell you, this guitar has been through it all. This is probably the cheapest guitar I own, and it's the best quality ever. You know, got some custom paint on it. I made it myself. Um, I'll talk about more about this car when I do decide to make the video, when I, I can, uh, I call this my slave, also my bitch, you can tell I broke that as a, I do for an hour, and then, yeah, just the tremolo, not a full ghost, just a regular tremolo arm, pretty great, um, check out the back, I think that's cool. Like me, yes. Um, another one of my signatures that are just like to fade away. And uh, this PM is for uh, trip darkness, if you can understand that. Uh, I'll explain more about this TV Raptor once I make the video. It's got a story. It's great. And this guitar started it all. 1997. Squire Fender Bullet. Everyone who's played a guitar has played one of these. Squire Bullet by Fender. This guitar probably the worst guitar I own. But you know, but you know what? This guitar has had one fucking hell of a story. It's pretty good. Um, taped input jack. That's got a story. This guitar is finally called quits on me. Because this is really isn't my guitar. This is my dad, but he gave it to me. And uh, he played power chords. Beautiful. I should have tuned it first, but no, this guitar is really good really old. My bottom bit. It's the hardest working guitar here. It's still a lot. Uh, this has got a story of its own. I can't play it though. There's really no point in playing it. It just doesn't have good sounds. It's basically pick up a shot in my opinion, but who knows. Maybe I can, uh, once I get a little bit more money and I'm done working on my other guitars, maybe I can pay this one good uh, attention. Pretty good. Uh, 97, 1997, a little bit after that I was born, a few years after I was born, there it is, Squire, well, nothing special, everyone's seen it, well, that's basically all I own right now, technically, that's all I can show you, I own a, uh, a 2009 BC Rich Warlock, wait, yeah, Warlock Base, it's a black warlock bass, nothing special. Um, right now my bass player is actually using it because uh, he doesn't have the bass of his own, so I, uh, I'm letting him borrow it. I should be getting it back pretty soon. It's got some custom tape I decided to put on it. 
And then uh, the other guitar I'm going to be getting tomorrow is a, um, yeah, I shouldn't find the way until tomorrow, huh? Well, uh, I'll do videos about it, but it's going to be a, uh, I don't know the year yet, but it's a BC Rich Warlock Bronze series. Um, as far as I know, it's black. It's not mine yet. It's going to be mine tomorrow. I'm going to buy it off of my other brand. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, you know, it's, as far as I know, the only thing that's wrong with it, it, it is uh, that it doesn't have a toggle switch. Top on it, but that's good. But, uh, yeah, those are right now. Those are all my guitars. My bass is MIA. Well, not MIA, but temporarily not here. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go pick up my new Warlock. Mm, I know. It's bronze. You know what? Hold up. Cheap guitar. It's pretty good. Good, pretty good for now. I'm not a big fan of Warlock or Blonde, but you know what? Oh, well. Uh, I have a feeling I could do something with it, but... Yeah, those are all my guitars. Um, as currently, right now, only video that I have up, other than me playing my Jackson and my BC Rich Avenge, is me talking about my Epiphone. So, I will put videos explaining all the features on all those guitars, playing them, demos, reviews, and all that shit, as soon as I can. Promise you. You have my word. Well, um, that's it for now. Um, yeah, watch my watch my uh, videos. Subscribe, tell your friends. I'm legit. Um, yeah. If you want to know any questions, concerns, anything really, drop me a line. Uh, I'll be welcome to answer anything you uh, need me to. And I think that's about it for now. For the fifth time, I probably said that, but, you know, it's a lot. Um, alright. Thank you for your time. Peace out, YouTube. Good night.